Hi, this is James from TracyMatt.co.uk and from Boxings.com, and I'm here with the uh, Nokia C3 Touch and Type, uh, another one of these uh, Nokia devices which uh, combines a touchscreen with a, uh, a traditional uh, style keyboard. Um, we've seen one of these recently. We uh, we had the X3 O2, uh, which uh, same concept. Uh, and spec wise there isn't a great deal between the two, uh, quite a deal of difference between, between the two, so uh, we'll jump in and, uh, and have a look and see what we get for our money. So we'll come back to the device in a second, we'll see what else we've got here in the box. Uh, I'm not sure if this is retail packaging or not, I don't think it is, it looks a bit of a mix and match if you ask me. Um, charger, we've got three pin and this has got a proprietary charger on it. Um, let's have a quick look at the device. It doesn't, yeah, hmm. Weird. I was, I'm sure I read that uh, all phones within the EU were going to come with like USB chargers. Anyway, we've also got some headphones. Uh, there's a nice incline there. Uh, Clicky thing, you can never remember what it's, the proper word for it is. Um, it's got a clip on the back so you can uh, attach that to your shirt or what have you. And then the uh, the earphones themselves, the in-ear style ones, um, they look pretty much identical uh, to the iPhone uh, or iPod. Uh, and then we've got a three and a half mil jack on the end there. So no sync charge cable cable has been supplied with this review device. Um, you'll obviously get one of those in the retail box. So let's uh, jump straight in and have a, have a quick look at the device. So over on the left hand side of the device there is absolutely nothing. On the right we have uh, an up down volume rocker, we have a lock key in the centre there and then down here we have the camera key and next to the camera key there's a tiny, there's a tiny other button. Well, I think it's a button, I'm not really sure. Anyway I have no idea what it does. Um, on the bottom of the device there's nothing. And on the top, we've got uh, we've got that proprietary charging cable. We've got the headphone jack and something else, which I'm not sure if it's uh, might USB one or not. I'll have to uh, test that out later. And on the front, we've obviously got cool send and end, and we've got the traditional uh, style keyboard there. So you can hold that down to unlock. Here we go. So this is running um, Nokia's S40 software. Um, oh, we didn't look at the back, did we? Silly me. I always do that. Uh, five megapixel camera, which should be fairly good, and there's a flash there as well. Um, so it looks like there's only one home screen, so there's no scroll in there. Um, and yeah, so we can we can alter the uh, the the widgets that we have on the screen. I'm really not very familiar with this uh, operating system, so uh, do excuse me. Let's have a look and see if there's any, uh, any video on here, see what that plays like on this device. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be wanting to, uh... Whoa! Where's that noise coming from? <laughs> it must have started playing another video. Yeah, it did. There we are. So, as I say, you're not going to be wanting to watch uh, a movie on this phone, but, uh... We'll see how easy this is to, uh... Connect to the Wi Fi if it gives us the option. There we go. The keyboard's actually very nice. Uh, I'm not very good at typing on these sort of keyboards as I, uh, I use a Blackberry, but uh, that was surprisingly easy. Um, 
it's metallic, so the quality feels uh, feels really good actually. Um, yeah, I mean the the um, as I was saying at the start of the video, we had a look at the uh, the X3. I think that was a bit more plasticky. This is a bit more robust. It's slightly heavier as as well. Although the spec is uh, not much different at all. Um, right, let's have a look at uh, let's go to the BBC News. Now it will load. There we go. So there's no pinch to zoom. But we can double tap. We've got multi tab browsing. Into the settings, we can add bookmarks and uh, ooh, that sort of thing. If you're big into uh, web browser on your phone, this probably isn't ideal, but uh, it will get you by. So that's not too bad. Let's have a look what's in the proper menu. So we've got calendar. I keep wanting to use a, uh, an optical trackpad on this, but I keep remembering it's touch screen. So it's nice and easy to uh, set a new uh, appointment. Like so, that's saved. Contacts, music, internet, we've had a look at that. Messaging. We can set up email there. Photos. I don't know whose photos these are. But it's fairly easy to, to scroll between them, and you've got the options here on screen to uh, uh, to email that picture to somebody. So that's pretty good. And then got settings, the OV store, and apps. So alarm clock, calculator, gallery, extras. We have a voice recorder, to do list, notes, countdown time, and a stopwatch. So lots of extras, games. So, you know, it's fairly basic stuff. Um, is it a smartphone? Ooh, I don't know. I suppose it's semi-smart. Um, it's really got the sort of feature phone concept. But for people that uh, are into this particular form factor of the traditional style keeper pad, um, they've now got the added bonus to, uh, to use the touchscreen as well, which will suit some people. You know, some people aren't going to like it. But, uh, you know, it's nice that Nokia... Uh, I've got so many phones out there, uh, so there's so many options available. Anyway, we'll have a full review of this one uh, on the site in the uh, in the coming weeks. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Bit Defender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.